In talking about how the masculine ha affects us individually, toxic masculinity, you know, uh, my first moon ceremony that I did, I was connecting with the moon and had this moment when I realized women and women presenting and, and people just in general have been connecting with the moon for centuries. But for me at that moment, it was, it was the, the feminine. And I began to, you know, out loud ask the divine feminine to help me connect with what I at the time believed to be feminine energy, you know, help me to be more nurturing, more kind, more loving, more patient, more caretaking. And I, and I went on this long list of things that I believe to be feminine. And then I was done. And then I heard very clearly and a warrior and look, it knocked the wind out of me. My knees crumbled and I wept. And in that moment, I yelled out that I was ashamed of being a woman that women were weak and that I was ashamed of that weakness, that I hated the weakness that I had as a woman. And I'll, I'll cry talking about it. And it was this huge life-changing moment to realize I even felt this shame of my womanhood. And as I release that to the mother moon and the mother goddess, the divine mother herself, I stepped into a power like I have never known. And I understood why this has been kept from us. I led my 14 year old son through a similar healing because he made a comment about how he felt like, why do we have to add goddess to God? Because it makes her sound weaker. And I wasn't angry about it because I wanted him to understand, even though we've been raised as an activist, he was very upset. He couldn't figure out why he was struggling with the idea that somehow goddess made God s less than God right? And I was trying to explain to him the effects of toxic masculinity and how it is so deeply embedded in us, okay? And um, he was fighting it, but he had to vocalize it. Throat chakra, that's a card I keep getting today. And with the divine masculine, he had to verbalize what he really thought of the feminine on the core. It wasn't matching what he consciously was thinking. This was ancestral. It was an ancestral belief of the patriarchy that women were weak. And once he burst it out of his mouth, he was freed of.